space. This is the year 2005, and satellites have been launched into space for nearly 50 years. Thousands of these man-made objects are orbiting the Earth, and most will remain there for decades. Only a few are still in use. The rest are space debris. What one can say is uh, the number of space objects that we know of is on the order of uh, 9,500. And uh, these objects are typically larger than 10 centimeters in the low Earth orbit, uh, up to 2,000 kilometers. And they are typically larger than about one meter in the geostationary orbit. Now, if you go to smaller sizes, the number of objects increases dramatically. And if you go to one centimeter objects, then probably we have half a million objects up there. The dramatic increase of space debris, the result of a lack of awareness during the early phases of space exploration. Back in the 1980s, several hundred satellites per year were put in orbit around the Earth, mostly as spy satellites. With them came the upper stages of rockets that lifted them in space. Today, even fuel tanks and old astronaut gloves are migrating in space around the Earth. Space debris is a big problem because uh, there are many objects, sometimes very small objects, uh, which have a very high velocity and a high kinetic energy which can cause lots of damage. Space debris or micrometeorites sometimes crash into abandoned rocket fuel tanks or batteries orbiting Earth. This causes explosions, creating clouds of new space debris with innumerable tiny bits and pieces. Since the beginning of the space age, there have been almost 200 explosions in orbit, under half of which involved old rocket bodies. Because space debris is traveling so fast, even pieces of one centimeter or less in size can cause big damage. The object that we see here is a, an aluminum block, um, a solid aluminum block, which was hit by a tiny um, sphere, which is uh, 1.2 centimeters in diameter. And uh, you see that this caused quite a bit of damage. This um, bullet, if you like, was fired at this block at a velocity of 6.8 kilometers a second, which is less than the orbital speed. You don't just have this crater um, morphology, but you can also have detachments like this. So in the worst case, this could have separated, and with high velocity, this detachment could have moved through a uh, cabin of a space station and uh, might have caused lots of damage. So space debris is not only an aesthetical or environmental problem. If the debris increases further, there is danger that even space exploration could suffer dramatically, says Heine Klinkrad. If you do not uh, enforce space debris mitigation measures in the very near future, uh, it may happen that collision events um, become prevailing in the long term. And uh, then you may reach a situation where collisions uh, totally dominate. And whatever you do, you cannot get control of, uh, the, um, uh, of the situation anymore. Uh, ultimately, this may lead to a situation where in certain altitude regions, uh, you cannot conduct any safe uh, space missions anymore. Debris avoidance, the key for a safer space exploration. And ESA is playing a leading role in protecting space missions from space debris. ESA will host the next International Space Debris Conference from the 18th to the 20th of April in Darmstadt. More than 200 leading scientists are expected. Their aim? To present results from research and to promote the ongoing discussions to protect future space missions from space debris.